What's going on everyone? Tom Walters from Rehab Science back again. I'm excited this week. I've got Kirsten in this video. She's my wife and also a physical therapist. If you've got a friend at home or a partner, there are techniques out there that obviously we as physical therapists do a lot on our patients. And a lot of times they're not too technical and you can learn to do them at home. And oftentimes they're more effective than some of the techniques you can do on yourself. So this one we're gonna look at today is a stretch for the hip flexors and the quads, which are on the front of the thigh, in particular, one of your quadricep muscles called rectus femoris. So this is a test that we do in the clinic often to look at the flexibility of the hip flexors and quads, and then it also turns into a stretch. And I have a ton of patients who love this stretch. It can often help with back pain, pain on the front of the leg, kneecap pain, pain on the front of the knee. So to perform this stretch, you're gonna have your partner, uh, probably on a bed is the easiest at home, but you're gonna have them sit at the edge of that surface. And I'm always telling patients, they have to really scoot towards the edge. So I'm gonna have Kirsten come a little bit closer to the edge. We're gonna stretch her right leg so that you can see it the easiest. But what she's gonna do is, she's going to grab her left leg and roll onto her back and just let the right leg totally hang relaxed, okay? So sometimes people hold tension here and their legs kinda, they're tightening their muscles, but you want it to just be totally relaxed. So in the clinic, like I said, we call this the Thomas test and we look at the position of the person's leg to get an idea of how flexible they are on this anterior side of the leg, the anterior myofascial chain, which is essentially looking at their hip flexors and their quads, again, especially this rectus femoris muscle, which is a it moves our knee and our hip. It's a hip flexor and a knee extensor. So in the test, if you look at a textbook, they'll say to pass this test, your upper thigh bone, the femur here, should be parallel to the ground. So she looks pretty good there. And your knee should hang at 90 degrees. So hardly anybody ever passes what the textbook says they should, but technically for Kirsten to pass this, they would say that her knee should hang closer to 90, degree, 90 degrees when she's in a relaxed state. Again, don't really worry about that if you don't fall into that position. Hardly anyone does. So, But this can be a great way to stretch people and you can compare side to side. If you've had an injury, you have pain, you might be tighter on one side and that might be worth noting. So what we're gonna do to stretch this, we're looking for a stretch on the top of the thigh or the front of the hip. That's where you should feel it. The person who's doing the stretch, you're gonna come over and lift the person's leg up slightly to kind of take tension off of those muscles. You're gonna gently with your palm push down on their pelvis just to prevent their pelvis from moving into anterior pelvic tilt and that arching their low back. When they hold their leg like this, this will also help protect their low back, but this is just an extra step. So I'm gonna kind of lift up, push down a little bit on her pelvis to help secure it, and then lower the leg back down now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down gently on the bottom of her knee towards the ground, on the bottom of her thigh, which will add a little bit of stretch to the hip flexor. So I'm gonna push down there. And then I'm gonna use my leg to bend her knee until she says she feels a good stretch. Okay, so she's actually pretty flexible with this. Uh, a lot of people won't be able to bend this far, especially if this is an area where you're prone to tightness. But you're gonna bend until you. they say, it's a good stretch, kind of a moderate stretch, and then you'll hold there, just like we would for any muscle stretch, somewhere between 15 to 30 seconds, and you would do it two to four times. So what I'll do is usually stretch one side, and then after we've held that one, I'll switch over and do the other side and maybe do each leg two to three times. So again, you can just let that out when you're done. You should feel the stretch. They should feel the stretch up here on the front of the thigh maybe the front of the hip. So again, I'm gonna lift up, push down to secure the pelvis and protect the low back. Let the femur drop back down. I'm gonna push down to add a little more stretch and then use my foot to bend her knee until she feels a good stretch on the front of the thigh. Okay, so again, this is really, I can't tell you, I do this a lot. I uh, use this stretch a lot in the clinic and it's one that just feels really good because you get to be totally relaxed uh, as the patient or the client. You don't have to do anything. You just get to lay here and be relaxed while someone else stretches you. So I think that often adds to the, just how well this stretch works. So if you've got a partner at home or a friend who can do this at the gym or at home or whatever, 
give it a try and let me know if you have any questions in the comments and also just let me know how it goes. Let me know if you like this stretch. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye.